Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Jonathan and welcome to this channel which is called Permaslug. Today I'm going to just jump right into the video because I'm super excited about it. I'm going to be going over Oxygen 3.0 and the new WooCommerce integration that has come with it. There's also a repeater element that's new in 3.0, but the main thing that I'm really excited about and going to be going over in this video is the WooCommerce integration. If you're not familiar with Oxygen, it is a visual site building tool for WordPress similar to WP Bakery, Visual Composer, Divi, Element or some of those, but it's much more comprehensive because you build your entire site. And I have since transitioned away from all those aforementioned builders to Oxygen for my personal projects and for client work alike. So uh, again, this is just the alpha. There's still bugs. There's things we're going to encounter in real time here that aren't going to go according to plan, but I'm not going to chop this video up. I want you to see exactly how I would do this start to finish. I have played with this a bit and uh, gotten familiar with it. And uh, so what we're going to do now is basically just move over to the sandbox install that I have. As you can can see there's nothing set up. I don't have a template to render any of my page content or any of my products yet. So we'll just go ahead and move into the admin dashboard. Um, some of the plugins that I have installed you can see are basically just only the things that you would need to run this site. I have the classic editor, um, the Oxygen 3.0 of course with the WooCommerce add-on. Um, and then WooCommerce itself, as well as just a payment gateway. Uh, you know, it makes you choose one of those in your uh, WooCommerce setup. And so that's where we are. So I also went ahead and added a couple products. We're going to theme this store around a um, like a smart speaker store. And so I went ahead and added in the HomePod, Google Home, the Amazon Alexa, gave them prices, put them in categories, tags. And um, now what we're going to do is basically just design the template for our pages on the site. So if you're new to Oxygen, go down to Oxygen and click on Templates. And we're going to start by adding a template that we'll just call something like All Pages or Sitewide or something to that effect. And this one is going to render your header, your footer, and what's called the inner content, which is basically just the, the pieces in the middle of your header and footer. So in this particular case, we're just going to choose where does this template apply, expand singular, choose pages, and then click on publish. This will all make a bit more sense here in just a little bit once we add the inner content element. You can kind of see how this will work. But for the meantime, let's just go ahead and click on edit with oxygen. Okay, so as you can see, we have our blank slate here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and start by adding in, let's go to helper and then header builder. Um, I don't really have a logo, so what I'm going to do is go back to basics. Let's add in a heading. Let's decrease this font size a bit. And I'm just going to put the word listen because, of course, like I said, this is a smart speaker store. And then what I'm going to do is add in a WordPress menu. And let's go ahead and take that menu and drag it all the way over here to the right side so it goes into the header builder right section. So that's about all I'm concerned about for the moment as far as our header goes. This is just going to be a really simple site. I want to show you the WooCommerce integration and not necessarily how to design a site in Oxygen. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and click on Add and then scroll down here to Inner Content. Because keep in mind, we're not actually designing the page content itself. We're designing the template that is going to render the page content. And that will make more sense when we actually edit the home page. Um, and for now, what I'm going to do is leave the inner content out of a section so that if I want, I, I have the ability to make my page content full width. But a little trick that's really nice is to set the inner content element under size and spacing. Change the min height to something like 75 VH. So that way your footer is not floating on the, you know, the middle of the page. Um, from here, what we're going to do is just go add and then let's go section and then let's just make this background color something dark like you know almost a black basically i'm going to add in another heading and let's just go our website name which is just listen and change the text color to white i'm going to center this and then add some margin underneath the heading let's also go ahead and add in some social icons which we can do really simply i'm just going to decrease the icon size the icon color let's just change to white and then maybe the icon hover color will just do like a gray, which you can see. We'll just do a really simple transition like that. So that's really all I need for our header and footer at the moment. Go ahead and click on save and then back to WP Admin. Now, just for the sake of this feeling like a real site, I'm going to actually go design a really simple home page. And just so you can see kind of what a more filled out site would look like when we're done. So I'm going to go to home and then click edit with oxygen again. Okay, so here I am editing my home page, and what I'm going to do at this point is just add in a section. Um, let's go ahead and add in a heading, and I'm just going to title this, It Listens Only to You. 
and this let's just make italic for emphasis. So um, what we're going to do now is just change the background. Let's go and take this nice Amazon Alexa photo because it's it's um, positioned off to the right. I'm going to change the background position to 50-50 center center just by changing the left position to 50% and the top to 50%. And then I'm going to add in, uh, just to make this really simple, some container padding of 150 pixels on each side. Let's change our font color here to white and let's increase the size to maybe like 55. Underneath here, I'm just going to add in, let's say a button and let's just say view all products. So if I click this button here, then the um, global colors that are stored on this site, you can see, so I'm using this green and then the button hover color will just be this darker green right here. Now I'm going to add in some uh, spacing to this button. Let's go 12 pixels on the top and bottom and then let's say 25 on each side, make the button just a little bit wider and that's really all we need to do for now. If you want, you can actually add some text shadow to the heading by going to advanced effects text shadow, and then let's just do something really simple, 0, 1, 3, something like that. Now let's just go ahead and add in one more section. Let's put some text copy in here, and then that will be basically it for our homepage. Go ahead and click back to WP Admin one more time. But now this time we're actually going to be getting into the WooCommerce section of this video. So go to Oxygen Templates, and then we're gonna add a new template. And this one we're just going to call product details because this is where we're going to actually design what the product page looks like. So inherit design from other template, go ahead and click on all page and that's going to inherit our header and footer automatically. Where does this template apply? Expand singular and just find products here. Check that and then click publish and then edit with oxygen again. Okay, so we're actually editing the product details template, which is going to allow us to design exactly what your customer sees when they click through to a product. Now, this is going to be a little bit different than just, you know, some kind of generic template. This is where I want to try to show you the, um, you know, the full customization that you can get with Oxygen and WooCommerce, just pretty much out of the box, especially once you become a little bit more familiar with Oxygen. So what we're going to do is add in a section. I'm going to set this section's background color to something like this kind of that off gray, uh, little light white kind of color. And then I'm going to add in a heading. In this heading, I'm going to double click it and choose insert data and then click on post title. And what that does for us is automatically fills in the product title um, for whichever product we're viewing. So if I switch back over to like Amazon Alexa, for instance, you'll see that it changes from HomePod to Alexa and I'll switch back to Apple HomePod because that's where I want to be for the moment. Um, now, if I have this section selected, I can go ahead and click on center. To give this a little spice, what I like to do sometimes is add a little border underneath the heading here, just let one that would match our brand color. And basically what I'm going to do here is click on this heading. I'm going to click this option here and say wrap with div. And then inside of this div, I'm actually going to add another div. And what I'm going to do is set this particular div. If you look in my structure panel, I have the top one selected. I'm going to center this, then I'm going to click into this div. I'm going to give this a height of something like, you know, 10 pixels, and that's not going to change on the back end, but you'll see it on the front end in just a minute. I'm going to go to uh, width and change this to something like 15%, and that actually takes 15% of the container div that it's in. Now what I'm going to do is go to borders, go to border bottom, give it this nice green color. Let's say it's a... a um, you know, width of two pixels, give it a solid color and click on save. And I'm going to show you on the front end what this looks like. So it's basically going to look something like this. The little border on the bottom is going to be 10% of the width of the title and that div that it's contained in. So if you have a title that's shorter or longer, it's going to be 10% of that. I kind of like that. It just adds a little nice element, which I've seen in other themes too. So now let's go ahead and add in another section here. And inside of this section, I'm going to add in a column and set the layout to 50-50. And then inside of this left div over here, I'm going to go back to add. Let's click on WooCommerce and go with product images. And you can see that the layout here in just a second is not quite what we want. I imagine this will probably be fixed in future versions. But what we're going to do is go to advanced, 
size and spacing and set the width to 100%, and it's just a simple fix like that. So obviously this doesn't look perfect down here. You probably wouldn't want the numbers next to your photos, and you would probably want those photos to be horizontally aligned as opposed to vertical, but that's okay. We get the point across at the moment. So our product photos are um, you know, visible here, and because we have a white version and a black version, you can see both photos are available, which is great. Now moving over to this right hand div, the first thing I'm going to add in is the product price and having played around with this, I do know that the font size at the moment in the alpha doesn't quite work. It just basically increases the line height and not the actual font itself. So I'm not really going to worry about increasing the size of the font at the moment, although I'd probably want to. Uh, what I'm going to do here is just add in some margin underneath it. So from here, let's go ahead and add in our product short description, which we can do by going to product excerpt. And then there you can see it fills in the nice short description for us. Once again, I'm going to add some margin below that particular excerpt. And what I'm going to do now is go back to add and then let's go product cart button. This will go ahead and fill in the product options for you, which I've chosen as white or black for the speaker here. And you can see there's the little color prefix. You can add your, um, your quantity selector, and then the add to cart button is actually grayed out because I haven't selected a color. But as you can see, once you choose the, the um, option here, then your button is uh, visible. Now what you can do from this point is actually change all the labels, you can change the inputs in terms of the spacing, colors, fonts, you know, everything that you'd want to do. Um, and that is going to be, you know, all in these options here. I won't dig into that super in depth because you can definitely play with that yourself. But um, as you can see, you can start to get a really comprehensive layout in pretty much no time flat. So now what we're going to do is uh, underneath this section, let's add some more margin underneath the product cart. And let's go add in maybe like some social share icons. Icons. We'll just do the social icons for the sake of it and let's change these to a little bit smaller and then use the brand colors Once again, we're going to add some more margin and then let's add in let's say um well, actually, let's not do the full description in this particular spot. It looks like it replicates the images every time you add an element <laughs> Which is kind of funny um, Go to section and then let's add in the WooCommerce full description So if I click the product description there then it's going to fill in our full product description for us. So let's click on save and then go view that on the front end. So here is the product page that we just designed. As you can see, that took barely any time at all. And the little errors that we had on the back end are not at all accessible. So, um, you know, if you go ahead and click on the white option, then the button lights up. Let's go to black and it doesn't look like it changes your photos at the moment, kind of like it would when you have the photos assigned to different variations, but that's okay. So as you can see, I mean, this doesn't look terribly revolutionary, but in terms of it being something that you get to set up and something that matches your brand really quickly, that's awesome. Now, what I want to show you real quick is if I go back to the Oxygen Visual Editor, um, I can actually go to my settings up here, go to Global Styles, choose WooCommerce, and then under buttons, for instance, I can change the primary call to action buttons for my entire site without having to do any CSS. So as you can see, if I just move this little guy around, if I know my hex color, I just paste it right in there. Or let's say I want to do something dramatic like change it to blue. You can definitely do that. And it's all built right into to, uh, what's considered a global color in this case. Um, you can also change all the individual fonts. You can change color, spacing, size, you know, anything you want. And um, we're really just scratching the surface of what's possible with this new integration between Oxygen and WooCommerce. I hope you guys are excited as I am about this. And again, the point of this video is not necessarily to show you every feature. You can watch the official Oxygen video on that. I just wanted to show you what it's like to try to design a um, WooCommerce store in Oxygen in this alpha stage. Definitely check back and follow my channel for more updates and I will have lots more WooCommerce Oxygen content to come. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.